Today I fucked up by ruining my cousin's innocent mind. I, 14F, was talking to my cousin, also 14F, about books, and out of nowhere she just goes I honestly can't believe all I need to do is pray. I asked her what the heck she meant, and she said that to become pregnant all you had to do was pray, and that's concerning because if she prayed right now, she'd be pregnant and she didn't think that was right. Apparently, her mother told her that all she did was pray, and then she appeared in her stomach a week later. Ow, I just explained to her that that isn't how it works, I just said that not how it works, you just do the thing. And she asked me to elaborate and I did but with barely any details because I was uncomfortable. Long story short she decided she no longer wants to get married and refuses to become pregnant and now won't look at her parents, or my parents, or my cousins who did give birth, or our grandparents and aunts and uncles. I think I broke her. Too long didn't read, I explained to my cousin where babies come from and broke her. Edit, I'm really sorry, but everyone is assuming we're American and Christian. We're not. We don't do Christmas. I'm sorry, but I've been getting this a lot. Well at least you spared her the embarrassment of finding out the hard way one day. Yeah, that's one bright side. This isn't even a few in my opinion. You did this girl a major favor. I can't believe her parents. This is exactly how to get a teen pregnancy to happen. You've done the right thing. Child of 14 should know, in gory detail, how the human body works. Sex is part of basic biology, how has she dodged this in science? I have a 14 year old daughter and she's known since she was around 6 to 7. If it's any consolation, I have a friend who is a nurse at a hospital in Liverpool, England, in a fairly deprived area. A few times over the years she has had young girls turn up with severe stomach bruising around the belly button. Yup, you've guessed it, they were trying to get pregnant. Edit, a lot of folks are asking how and why. Growing up a basic way of telling a child that you're pregnant in England is simply daddy put a seed in mummy's tummy. Without simple sex ed girls don't know how that seed gets there and along comes Kevin who is no bright Brighter than young Karen apart from he knows his dick shoots seeds. Together, the uneducated duo proceed to try and procreate by Kevin sticking his knob repeatedly into young Karen's belly button until he fires his seedlings in there. I shit you not, this is more common than you would slash could believe. I barely gave any detail, though. I have no clue how she had no clue. Oh, my god. That must be rather horrifying to witness. This is called bad parenting. There's nothing wrong with sex and it shouldn't be hidden from your child in the guise of religion. Pray to get pregnant, what a joke. I was thinking that too, so I just told her. Can't believe she actually believed that though. At 14, it's good that you broke her. It's a milestone a lot of us go through. Good job on educating her. Broke her made me laugh, so thank you for that. Glad I did, I guess. Today I fucked up by reviewing my butt. Happened last night. My, 37F, stomach had been feeling bloated and off all day. Around 9 last night, the stomach cramps began, causing me to sprint to the bathroom. I knew I'd likely be in there for a bit, so I grabbed my phone on the way and farted around. Get it? Through a few waves of liquid madness. After a half hour and finally feeling better, I grabbed some water and a blanket and went to sit on the couch to tell my husband how I was feeling. I rambled along with don't go in the bathroom for a bit, my insides smell like death and dumpsters and my asshole is on fire and I'm glad we bought that bidet attachment, my butthole would wipe out art oil at paper supply and I wonder if it was the new iron supplement or maybe the foe was too spicy but my guts are fucking wrecked. For about 3 minutes when I hear a faint beep 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 from under the blanket. I peek under the blanket and see my phone, lit up, 312 into a phone call with a colleague slash superior at my place of work. He was the last person that called to give me directions earlier that day and with the things I was juggling on my hands, somehow called the last number back. I returned that call and favor by leaving him a 3 minute long voicemail detailing the smell, consistency, frequency, and possible causes of my raging butt eruptions. Too long didn't read, but dialed a work superior and left a long voicemail with all 
all the dirty deets on my no good very bad tummy troubles. Update, looking back, I know I could have tried to unsend the VM but my brain panicked and could only relay press the bye bye button now you fool. And then we hid under the blanket for good measure. Update number 2, ha 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 another poo reference, I'm off work this week. Pre-planned and unrelated to my butt, but the night of the incident I sent a sorry I just butt dialed you. Text so he wouldn't worry why I called so late, or think the voicemail was important. I got a text back this morning that said, good job. Should I listen to the message to hear if you were talking shit about me lol nervous laughter? I still feel like a fool but the situation is ridiculous enough that I might share this post with him when I go back. Thank y'all for sharing in my butt dial of shame. If it was currently in the voice message, you can cancel it and not send that. How? You can unsend voice messages on some chat platforms, but I've never heard of that for voicemails. I'm sorry. But in my culture, it is expected to keep one's work supervisor updated on such things. Should I not do that with you? It's the new diversity and inclusion program. Did you feel included? I would simply pass away. Like a fart in the wind. Tell your boss that you accidentally dialed him while you were rehearsing for an avant-grade play written by a neighborhood teen in a theatrical program for at-risk youth. Put that thing back where it came from, or so help me. We need an update on this one once you make contact again. Today I fucked up by washing my butt. So earlier today, I decided to clean up a little around the house. I was bored and I had some time before my fiancé got home from work. In the process I got a bit sweaty, so I hopped in the shower. It was a fantastic shower. Up until a point. I had washed my hair, face, and most of my body. Maintaining proper shower etiquette, I washed my butt last. The water was hot and steamy and, well, I decided to turn the jet on. Anyway I'm there sort of giving myself a b-day, seriously nothing 30, just getting clean, and about to finish up when things got ungood. The next thing I knew, my fiancé poked her head through the shower curtain to surprise me. Yup. And she got a face full of me, bent over, hands on my butt, letting the water jet spray right on my butthole. Needless to say, she was shocked. She said sorry and backed away quickly. As she did, she backed into the toilet and fell over. Alarmed by the commotion, I grabbed open the shower curtain to see what happened. But I moved too fast and I too slipped in the tub and brought half the curtain down with me. TL, doctor washing my butt caused my fiancé and I to end up on the floor bruised and in pain. But laughter followed. Edit, we are both okay, and after some desperate explaining on my part we can laugh about it. Also, we don't have a handheld shower head. Gonna have to change that. Thanks for the awards everyone. Should have asked her to give you a hand. Ol. Or two. Wouldn't it be easier to open his cheeks with two hands lol three. I hope your fall did not bring injury. I fell out of my shower and caught the toilet in the middle of my spine, took the curtain down with me, and then as I lay there with water spraying everywhere, the other curtain rod came down and hit me in the face. I was already injured, that was just mockery. Ah jeez. Can I recommend a handheld shower head for next time? Also, an actual bidet for your toilet seat. That. Cracked me up. I mean, would your fiancé rather you had an unclean butthole? I don't think the seeing him washes the fuck up here.